Welcome kings and queens to Ace Designs 107 and finally, fucking finally, I'm uploading a video. Sorry guys that I haven't uploaded a video for two weeks. That is crazy. The reason for that is, um, last minute I got caught out with family. We had to go on a Christmas holiday and I just didn't have access to the internet, so yeah. Anyway guys, so the only way that I could get on the internet was through McDonald's and I can't really upload videos on McDonald's Wi-Fi. That's, I hate to break it to you, but I just can't. So, by the way guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make yourself an outro for your YouTube channels. Now this is an awesome way to get people to click more on your videos. And yeah, so I've already found a backing that I'm going to use and one thing that I'm going to say in this tutorial is design with simplicity and skill, not with clutter. So let's go to file new. Make sure that the width is 1920 by 1080p. Love using that resolution. Bring in our texture onto our document. I will not give this in the description below because of I'm making this outro for a client. And outros don't take too long. That's why I don't charge a lot of money for them. I think I charged him 15 and I charge that for all my clients because of their outros. They're not um, banners, they're just a standard outro. You know, they're cool to make and everything like that. Okay, so here is our backing and I'm liking it like this. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make two boxes. These boxes are gonna be 1920 size. So I'm going to make sure to go up to here and we're going to change this to 1280 by 720. Whoa, 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 whoa. 1280 by 720. Press OK and bam, we have our box. Now what we can do with this is we're just going to rasterize this by pressing right control on it. Press rasterize layout. Press control T and hold shift and just size this down to an appropriate size. Thinking like, here's nice, and then press Control J, press Control T again on your keyboard, and then move that back in place. So this is where you would put two of your video thumbnails or your videos and make an annotation for people to click on it. So the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to add some social media icons. So to do that, I'm gonna open up my icons GFX pack by the way guys, all these GFX packs that I'm using are not for download. They are mine, I don't sell them, I don't do anything with them, I just use them for clients and my own graphics design. So guys, if you do wish to get your own graphics design or anything like that, just contact me and I'll be able to make it for you for a price. So, I'm pretty sure he has Skype. Um, but first I'm just going to do his Instagram, so I'm going to drag in the Instagram logo. I'm also going to drag in the Facebook logo, just the generic ones. Also going to drag in the uh, Twitter logo. And I also made the intro for him a long time ago. Uh, not a long time ago. A day before and I uploaded that yesterday on my channel so if you would like to see what type of intros I can make for you if you do want an intro in the future just go check out that video that I uploaded it's an example of some of my work uh, and um, I might be uploading the video tomorrow it's just really hard because of it's basically Christmas time and a lot of families are with me. I definitely stick to the daily uploads um, for the rest of this, for the rest of my time on YouTube. It's just the fact that now it's not the best time to do daily uploads. So I will, I'll talk more about that later in another video. So bam, I've got my logos and I'm going to resize them later soon, but with my rectangles, I'm going to rename those first. So this was going to be left and this was going to be right. It's our right one. It's our left one. And now I have to do a name. So I'm going to do this really cool way. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. 
I'm going to drag this out in an area. And his name's actually quite a large name, so I'm gonna pick a nice bluish. Thinking like that. I'm gonna close that. I'm also gonna right click do rasterize layer. I'm gonna change the opacity down to like that. And I can press Ctrl U on this rasterize layer or rectangle. Bring up the hue saturation and I can change the color of the box a little bit. Give it a second. It's lagging a little bit. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a big brush by pressing B on my keyboard. Go and grab the coat brush style. When my computer will load it up. My computer's been lagging for the past couple of days and I'm not. What the hell is wrong? Okay, just, it's lagging now, guys. Okay, my computer's finally decided to respond. I'll grab a brush with the zero hardness, a size that is applicable. I'm thinking a bit larger than this, probably. You want something larger than the rectangle like this? And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna. Wait, you want the eraser tool, sorry guys. And we're gonna drag all this way up like here and drag harness down there. And you just keep on clicking like this and you can hold shift on your keyboard and then it will keep it on the same path like that. And you should be ready to do it again on this. This way, like this, keep on going. And you can really eyeball this, guys, it's not that difficult. Okay, like that. Those edges straightened out a bit. Right, sweet, so we've got this working out right now, and this I'm just gonna rename this rectangle to Benner. And I'm gonna type his name in it, so I'm gonna grab my text tool, I'm gonna pick a font that I like. I'm first going to type his name, which is I Gun Men HD. Make sure all the caps are correct. And then I can like scroll through with the examples of his name. It's quite a nice one. It's not bad. I want something a bit Roman, but not too outdated. You know, something cool but unique. Um, not too fancy, you never want fancy fonts for the title because you just want to keep it simple so people can read it quickly because of this is the end of the video so so we just want to pick a font that we do like and that will work all together thinking Captain American should be fine for now you guys know that I do love that font very so much and I'm just gonna drag this on to the center a bit. And I will I just don't think that this font is the best one. I do know what font I'm looking for, I just don't know the name for it, but I know what it looks like. This is the hard part guys, you know, always picking a good font is quite difficult and We will find this font. Well, I will find it definitely. Because I don't want it. I do want it badly. There it is. 14 line. I think this font is really cool because of it's got like those lines on it. And be sure to download it, guys. It's for free. Just remember that name. Um, you know, it's just a really cool font like that. Now I'm going to drive a drop a little drop shadow on this panel by double clicking on it and then go to the drop shadow. This will give this outro a little more depth to it. I can change the color of the drop shadow. Normal. Okay, like that. And now we're gonna make an outer glow on this. 
Now, we have to be careful with the outer glow. Nothing too strong or anything, but as you can see, it makes that really cool. Nice, you know, glow on it. I'm thinking white actually would be not too bad. And then like that. You can always change the color on this. Maybe blue might be nice. Blue is not too bad, like a dark blue there. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to put a gradient overlay on it. Change the opacity right down to like somewhere that's nice that works for us. I'm thinking 39 and change this to overlay. And then you can bump this right up again. Or you can change it to soft light. Just find a blending mode that does work for you guys. It's really important with this stuff. Okay, like that. Now we're going to add a stroke. This might not work. This might work. You never know. Yeah, it's not going to work. But black does work, actually. And can change the point of it to, like, something... Nah, I don't like stroke. And you can always add a bevel and boss. Whatever effects you really do like. I'm just gonna kind of flitch through these because this is for a client and I do want to make the best thing possible for him. Okay, the inner glow like that. You can also add a pattern overlay on it. What I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't have any of the patterns anymore. So I wipe my computer. Alright, sweet. So like that. So there we have the effects onto that thing and it's like looking quite nice in my opinion. It's looking better like that. And let's keep on perfecting this. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to get the social links up and running. So to do this we're going to grab these and press control T. They're already lined up so we can just resize them like that. And I'm going to, where I'm going to put these, in the middle down here, like that, bam, and then I'm going to grab up a layer styles from Wiz's pack, really do love this pack, uh, what layer styles am I going to get, I'm probably just going to get this standard, I could get gold, I'll see how that works. If you guys saw the intro before, I did make it out of gold color, and that was I was actually really happy with that um, result on the intro. And you know that's pretty important to be happy with your own results as a graphics designer. So I think white's gonna be the best. Copy that layer style and then paste it back onto L. styles like that that's not looking too bad and now we have to before we move on to any more we are going to fix these ugly boxes so to do this what I like to do is straight away turn down the opacity so we can see that see throughness that's really nice now the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the blending options on one and just change those so we probably gonna make this one black black's always the better color for the stuff and then we're gonna make this one white and you can go here and change your opacity always back and down 65 percent is right I'll just go back to our blending options right click and go to blending options drop shadow we're gonna make a drop shadow distance like that it's quite nice inner glow is gonna be really cool depends what color we pick light blue and change our opacity down like that Just trying to pick the best settings, guys. I'm sure that you'll understand. This is just how I usually do my uh, things like this. Okay, 
Okay, sweet. So we have those settings applied. Now I'm going to go to right click and do copy and go to our left and do paste. Now we do want some variation between these colors. So as you can see that inner shadow was blue there. So I'm going to go back to my blending options and then go to the inner glow and change this color to, you know, like a pink or a red or something like that and then we have our color scheme to work with so the red one might be our previous video and the blue one might be a random video and he would put the video thing in just before that in the shadow so you can see the importance between them and you know they'll kind of differentiate things like that so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to add in our previous and mystery video um he would tell me whatever font that he likes whatever words he would like there and i can easily change him in because it is photoshop but before i do that i'm going to press ctrl s and save this just in case my computer crashes or anything like that never know it might turn for the worst and i just want a really simple font um something not too fancy i'm not going all out on this intro I'm going I'm just trying to make it like look really sleek and simple and that's one of the best designs you know now I'm not going to spell this previous wrong like I did before in one of my templates thinking typography pro is an awesome idea previous video And I'm really liking that way. Then I press that, press Control J, press Control T, and then bam. Now I'm gonna change this to random or mystery. Doesn't really matter. Random video. Okay, sweet. And then we have our outro. But obviously, guys, I wanna perfect this a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you what you can do to add some little bit more cool things. So to do, I'm going to grab a line tool first and add some really cool things on the sides down here. So I'm going to do like this. I'm going to make the point like that. Right, and I'm going to get no stroke. Press that and press Control J, press Control T, and move this on the other side like that. Okay, bam, we have two lines there. Now I'm gonna do a little, I'm either gonna keep it like that or do a little fade out thing on it. I'm probably gonna keep it like that. I like it like that. And everyone knows his name like that. So I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. But one more thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add probably corners, maybe. Actually, it should be fine like that. So guys, this is how you make a really cool intro. Basically, you have two windows, you add some effects on them, put some text over it, make a really nice title and some social links in there, and make sure to add a slogan if you want on the top or bottom. I'm going to do that later for him, but this is how you make a really cool, simple one. Now guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys soon, and thank you. Bye.